Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here and today we're going to look at which audio transition to use in Premiere Pro. Okay, so some people don't know that there's actually more than one audio transition in Premiere. And if you go to audio transitions crossfade, you can see we have three to choose from. So constant gain, constant power, and exponential fade. And constant power has the blue line around it. That means that it's the default. So whenever you add an audio fade to a clip using either a shortcut key or the menu, that's the fade that it's using. And what we're gonna do is go through the differences between these three fades, as well as their pros and cons. Let's start off with the first audio fade, which is constant gain. If you've ever wondered what this fade would look like if it was done with keyframes, it looks like this. So it's just a straight line fading up or fading down, which is why this fade is sometimes also referred to as a linear fade. And it's a good fade. The only problem with it is sometimes it can sound abrupt. So let's have a listen to it and you'll hear that as it fades out, it speeds up towards the end. And you can actually confirm this with a loudness meter. So this is measuring how we hear those changes in amplitude. I'm just going to enable this and move my playhead back to the start and I'll click play. And you can see that the fade is easing out here, but it's really speeding up towards the end, which is what's making it sound abrupt. Moving on to the next fade is constant power, which like I said, is the default in Premiere. And I'll just show you the keyframes for this fade. So this is very similar to the linear fade that we have over here, only it's got this three decibel bump in the middle, which is why this fade is sometimes referred to as a plus three decibel fade. It's also referred to as an equal power fade, and it probably comes in handy more with things like cross fades, which we'll discuss in a moment. But as a fade, it can also sound a little bit abrupt like constant gain. Let's have a look at it up here on the loudness meter. You can see it's probably easing out a little bit more than the linear fade, but again, it's really speeding up towards the end. And that brings us to the exponential fade, which is probably more gradual than the other two. And you can see that the keyframes are quite dramatically different to the other two as well. So let's have a look at this on the loudness meter. So you can hear it's a much smoother fade and a much more gradual decline in volume as well. And this more closely resembles the way a sound will naturally decay. And this is why it's great for fading out things like music and sound effects, but it's also really useful when you're editing dialogue to fade in and out of words mid sentence. So when it comes to fades, constant gain and constant power are fine, but they can sound a little abrupt. If you're looking for something a little smoother or more natural, then exponential fade is the one to go with. But of course, we don't just use these for fading up or down from silence. We also use them for cross fading between clips. So let's have a look at how they perform as cross fades. Here I have a clip with some noise on it and I've added a cross fade between them using each of the different audio transitions. And let's listen to them while also looking at our loudness meter at the same time. We'll start off with constant gain. Did you hear that dip in volume in the middle? You can even see it in the loudness meter up here. So even though these two clips are the same volume, when we fade between them with constant gain, there's an audible drop in the middle, which doesn't make it ideal for crossfades. And that's actually the whole reason that we have the constant power fade, because if you remember, there's that little three decibel bump in the middle there, that's going to get rid of that audible drop in volume. So if we listen to this cross fade here, it should keep the same volume across the transition. Okay, so that's sounding much better. And then finally, let's look at the exponential fade when we use it as a cross fade. Okay, so if you thought that dip in volume was bad with the constant gain fade, it is really noticeable here with the exponential fade. And that's why this fade is great for fading in and out of silence, but not for crossfades if you want your volume to stay constant during the transition. So just to sum this up, when it comes to crossfades, constant gain and the exponential fade tend to have a dip in volume in the middle, which doesn't make them ideal for crossfades. The one that you wanna go with in this case is constant power. And now you know the differences between these three different audio transitions in Premiere Pro, and hopefully the next time you wanna add a fade or a crossfade to something in your work, you'll know which one to reach for. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.